Okay, I think we'll get started. One note from the teachers, if you have your iPads out, they will be taken away, so make certain no iPads are out, so put those away right now. I'm Mrs. Murphy, and I want to welcome you to the seventh grade spelling bee. Uh, this is kind of um, bittersweet for me because this is my last spelling bee after so many years. I think I've done over 35 of these, so uh, after 43 years of teaching, this is it. But spelling bees can be very exciting, and I'm hopefully we'll have a good time this afternoon, and good luck to all the contestants. Thank you, parents, for coming. Um, I want to introduce a few people today. Mr. Roger Whaley is going to be our announcer. For many, many years, he was the Floyd County spelling bee um, announcer on WNAS, so I really uh, feel glad to have him here and appreciate his giving his time and talent to us today. So let's give Mr. Whaley a round of applause, please. Today's seventh grade winner will receive a certificate, an engraved plant, plaque, and to sweeten it a little bit. We've got a huge Hershey kiss for the winner, too, and a, a smaller one for the runner-up. Uh, the participants all get either a caramel apple sucker or some other treats down here of their choice. Now, today's winner will go on to the Floyd County Spelling Bee, which will be held on Friday, February the 7th at New Albany High School in the WNAS. WNAS studio and that will be at 1 o'clock on February the 7th so the fifth grade winner today the sixth grade winner seventh grade winner and the eighth grade winner will all progress to the Floyd County Spelling Bee in February this is put on by the Ford Motor Company Kentucky Derby Festival and it showcases Kentucky and southern Indiana's top spellers so um, this will be a very suspenseful um, competition um, I'd also like to thank Mrs. Leslie Pendleton, our assistant principal, for her help in coordinating the spelling bee for the school, and to Mr. David Stone for setting up the auditorium. So, good luck, students. Let's have an exciting competition today. All right. Um a couple things you need to be quiet because if you're making noise they can't hear the words and so you have to be silent I know that's hard for seventh graders but give it your best try all right uh, the judges for today are mrs. Murphy who you've met mrs. May who is she's right there mrs. Bazell and Mrs. Cavan. Uh, I'm going to ask the contestants to introduce themselves, and we're going to start with chair number one. So come on up, introduce yourself. Here's a microphone. And tell, which English teacher. and tell which English teacher you go to. Hi, my name is Isabel Lanham, and I represent Ms. Cavan. My name is Braden Bates, and I am Miss May. Thank you. 
girls class. My name is Roman Howland and I'm representing Miss Bazell's class. My name is Ryan Green and I'm representing Miss Murphy's class. My name is Ellen Leitner, I'm representing Miss Bazell. Okay, this is your last chance to make noise. So if you're gonna make noise, do it now. Let's give them a call. Okay, that's it. From here on out, no noise, no whispering, nothing. Okay? All right, here's how it's going to work. Each time uh, a speller goes to the microphone, I'll give them a spelling word. I'll ask them to repeat the word to make sure that they did understand it. Then they can spell it and they can repeat it to after when they're done. Well, I don't know whose that is, but that is a nice one. Uh, <laughs> all right, the thing you've got to understand is once they start spelling a word, they can't take any of the letters back. So if I give them the word school, and they say school, and they say S-H-O, eh, I forgot something. Once it's out, they cannot take it back. So they've made a mistake and they can't take the mistake back. Uh, they can ask for a definition, they can ask for the word to be used in a sentence, and that's what our English teachers are here for. They know all of this stuff. Uh, once they, I when, if they misspell a word, they are to come down and they have seats over here okay that's where they're going to go all right when we have two spellers remaining then the, the rules change a little bit so I'll give one speller uh, a word if they spell it right I give the second speller a word let's say the second speller misspells it then I go back to the first speller they have to spell that word right and they get one more word and if they can do two words successfully then they will be declared the winner and they get this lovely Hershey kiss down here and it's all solid chocolate right mm -hmm. all right so if we're ready to go we're going to do one round of practice words and so number one come on up Okay, you ready? Uh -huh. Your word is desk. Desk. D E S K, desk. Lovely, thank you. Bye. Right. And, sir, your word is door. Door. D O O R. Perfect. And would you spell the word book? Book. B O O K. Lovely. Book. Yeah. How about spelling the word farm? Farm. F A R M. Farm. Lovely. All right. Um, the next speller can start moving earlier. Would you spell the word cake? Cake. C A S. Okay. 
And would you spell the word man? Man, M-A-N. That's it. How about the word happy? Happy, H-A-P-P-Y, happy. Good. And can you spell the word snow? Snow, S-N-O-W. Lovely. Okay. Just tip the mic up. <laughs> It'll be all right. We can hear you. Your word is table. Table, T-A-B-L-E, table. Okay. Young sir, your word is walk. Perfect. All right. Would you spell the word day? Day. D A Y. Okay. And would you spell the word cold? Cold. Like cold, cold? Like yeah. cold, cold. Okay, okay. So C O L D. Cold. Wonderful. Could you spell the word sad? Sad. S A D. Yep. Sad. <coughs> I, you should be up here already. You, did you go to sleep? <laughs> you, you fell asleep, didn't you? Maybe. Your word is house. House. H O U S E. House. Okay. Come on up. <coughs> Would you spell the word sky? Sky, S-K-Y. That's it. And the last in our practice round, would you spell the word funny? Funny, F-U-N-N-Y, funny. All right, that's it. Nobody, we got everybody. So let's give them a round of applause. They made it. Okay, this is for real now. Come on up. Would you spell the word universal? Sir, would you spell the word alien? Alien. A L I E N. Alien. That's it. And your word is napkin. Napkin. N A P K I N. Napkin. That's it. Could you spell the word guitar? Guitar. G. That's it, thank you. And your word is ballot. Ballot, B O W L L E T E, ballot. Uh, the word was ballot, B A L L O T. Okay, nice try. If you would come down, join us down here. All right, your word is recipe. <laughs> Want me to repeat it? No? Okay. Recipe, R-E-C-I-P-E. -E. That's it. And your word is cotton. Cotton, C-O-T-T-O-N. That's it, thank you. <coughs> and would you spell the word denim? Denim, D-E-N-I-M. -E That's it, thank you. <laughs> you got a fan club, is that? <laughs> your word is vampire. Thank you. Would you spell the word magazine? Magazine. M-A-G-A-Z-I-N-E. Magazine. 
Thank you. And you would spell the word revised. Can you use it in a sentence? Your English teacher asked you to, well, he revised his essay after his English teacher asked him to make corrections. He revised his essay. Revised. R-E-V-I-S-E. -E, revised. Thank you. Fine. Don't fall asleep on me there. Not asleep. Would you spell the word waltz? Waltz? Like waltz, a dance? Waltz. Like a dance. Okay. Um, that would be W A L T Z. Waltz. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Your word is captain. That's it, thank you. <laughs> All right. Would you spell polygon? Do you use that in a sentence? <laughs> That's it. Polygon is a shape in mathematics. I guess it's not a word. <laughs> a closed plane um, bounded by three or more line segments. So it's a shape, I guess, in geometry. Yeah, I guess. Um, All right. <laughs> <laughs> polygon, P-O-L-L-Y-G-O-N-E, polygon. Oh, that was close. P O L Y G O N. All right, time to settle down. Your word is reptile. That's it, thank you. And finally, first round, and your word is bumblebee. Bumblebee, B-U-M-B-L-E-B-E-E, -E -E, bumblebee. Excellent, all right, one round done, let's give them all a hand. All right, take up the empty chairs there, guys. Number one, it's you again. Yes. <laughs> and I think this is a word designed for you, ballerina. Um, um, incorrect, but okay. Um. <laughs> B, A, L. It was close, but no cigar. B A L L E R I N A, ballerina. Good job. Good, Good job. job. All right, would you spell the word density? Density. D E N S I T Y. That's density. it. Thank you. All right. And your word to next is alligator. Alligator. A 
That's it. Thank you. Would you spell the word awful? Awful. A W F U L. Awful. That's it. Thank you. Spell shutter. Shutter. S H U T T E R. That's it. Thank you. And your word is ivory. Ivory. I V O R Y. Ivory. Thank you. Would you spell the word narrate? Narrate. N A R R A T E. That's it. Thank you. And your word is puppet. Puppet. P U P P E T. Puppet. That's it. Thank you. Would you spell ocean? Ocean. O C E A N. Ocean. That's it. Thank you. Your word is buffalo. Buffalo. B U F F A L O. Buffalo. Thank you. What? Your word is vanilla. Vanilla, like the vanilla ice cream. That sounds good. Um, v A N I L L A. That's it. Thank vanilla. you. Your word is pretzel. Pretzel. P R E T Z A L. Pretzel. Ooh, almost. P R E T Z E L. I'm sorry. <laughs> Would you spell the word earache? That's it. Thank you. And the last speller in this round, would you spell telescope? Telescope. T-E-L-E-S-C-O-P-E. -E -E. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Could we have a round of applause? These are the folks left. Number one, you are going to spell fierce. Fierce. F E A R C E. Fierce. I'm sorry, it's F I E R C E. <laughs> Would you spell radar? Radar. R A D A R. Radar. That's it, thank you. And your word is diamond. Diamond. D I A M O N D. Diamond. Thank you. Would you spell the word tragic? Tragic. T R A G G I C. I think everybody said you probably misspelled it. T R A G I C. All right, your word is skeletal. Skeletal? S K E L A T L. No. Sorry. S K E T E L E T A L. And would you spell the word hazard? Hazard. 
H A Z A R D. That's it. Thank you. Hi, right, your word is storyteller. Storyteller. S T O R Y T E L L E R. Thank you. And your word is beautiful. That's it, thank you. Would you spell the word coffee? Coffee, C-O-F-F-E-E, -E, coffee. That's it, thank you. All right, your word is academy. Academy? Academy. Like I'm attending, okay. So A-C-A-M-D-E. M Y. You got too many letters in there. Oh, I said the. Yeah, A C, A D E M Y. All right. Would you spell the word arcade? The word was arcade, A-R-C-A-D-E. And would you spell the word bronze? Bronze, B-R-O-N-Z-E, bronze. That's it, thank you. All right, we have a new number one, and that is one, two, that's the end of the third round. How about giving a round of applause for everybody that's left? Okay, your word is tattletale. Tattletale. T-A-T-T-L-E-T-A-L-E, tattletale. That's it, thank you. All right, would you spell secretary? Secretary, S-E-C-R-E-T-A-R-Y, secretary. That's it, thank you. And your word is waitress. Waitress, W-A-I-T-R-E-S-S. -S. Thank you. All right, your word is walrus. Walrus, W-A-L-R-U-S, walrus. That's it, thank you. Would you spell tornado? Tornado, T-O-R-N-A-D-O, tornado. Thank you. And would you spell the word vowel? Vowel. V O W E L. Vowel. Thank you. And the last one in this round, and your word is mammoth. Mammoth. M A M M O T H. Mammoth. All right. And that's the end of another round. I think we lost anyone in that round. All right, I'll have to try harder, I guess. <laughs> Your word is tundra. Tundra. T-U-N-D-R-A, tundra. That's it, thank you. Would you spell the word thermal? Thermal, T-H-E-R-M-A-L, thermal. Thank you. And your word is revival. Revival, R-E-V-I-V-A-L, revival. That's it. Could you spell fossil? Fossil, F-O-S-S-I-L, fossil. Lovely. And your word is poetry. Poetry, P-O-E-T-R-Y, poetry. That's right. Your word is kitchen. Kitchen, K-I-T-C-H-E-N. That's it, thank you. And your word is warrant. Warrant, W-A-R-R-A-N-T, warrant. 
and another round and we didn't lose anybody. All right. Would you spell the word treadmill? Treadmill. T R E A M I L L. Treadmill. That's it. Thank you. Spell the word grammar. Grammar. G R A M M A R. Grammar. Your teachers would have never forgiven you if you had missed that one. Would you spell the word religion? Religion. R E L I G I O N. Thank you. Spell the word essay. S A E S S A Y. Thank you. And your word is settler. Settler. S E T T L E R. That's it. Thank you. Can you spell the word relief? Relief. R E L I E F. Relief. Correct. And would you spell ounce? Ounce. O U N C E. Ounce. Another round, and we didn't lose anybody. All right. Would you spell the word separate? Separate. S-E-P-A-R-A-G-E. -E. Separate. That's it. That was a tough word, wasn't it? All right. Your word is scattering. Scattering, S-C-A-T-T-E-R-I-N-G, scattering. That's it, thank you very much. Would you spell volcano? Volcano, V-O-L-C-A-N-O. -O. Correct. Could you spell the word twilight? Twilight, T-W-I-L-I-G-H-T. -E. Exactly. You ought to be able to get this one. Nacho. Nacho. N-A-C-H-O. Thank you. And the next word goes along with it. Unhealthy. <laughs> <laughs> Unhealthy. U-N-H-E-L-T-H-Y. I'm sorry you left an A out of there. U-N-H-E-A-L-T-H-Y. Would you spell the word theory? Theory. T-H-E-O-R-Y. Theory. Correct. All right. Another round and another round of applause. <laughs> Would you spell scarecrow? Scarecrow. S-C-A-R-E-C-R-O-W. Scarecrow. That's it. Thank you. Spell the word severe. Severe. S-E-V-E-R-E. -E -E, severe. That's it. Thank you. And your word is positive. Positive. P-O-S-I-T-I-V-E. -E. Thank you. Excellent. Spell the word sheriff. Sheriff. S-H-E-R-I-F-F. -E -F. Correct. And your word is knowledge. Knowledge. K N O W L E D G E. Knowledge. Excellent. Thank you. And your word is umpire. Can you repeat that, please? Umpire. E M P I R E. Empire. I'm sorry, it's umpire. U-M-P-I-R-E. <laughs> All right. Would you spell the word script? Script. S-C-R-I-P-T. Script. That's 
That's it. Thank you. And your word is succeed. Succeed. S-U-C-C-E-E-D. Succeed. That's right. Would you spell the word hurricane? Hurricane. H-U-R-R-I-C-A-N-E. Correct. Thank you. And your word is atomic. Atomic. A-T-O-M-I-C-A. We think we all heard you stick another letter in there. I'm sorry. A-T-O-M-I-C. All right, your word is galaxy. Galaxy. G-A-L-A-X-Y, galaxy. Right. And another round done. How about it, we get another round of applause. All right, spell the word basement. Basement, B-A-S-E-M-E-N-T. Correct, thank you. And your word is pioneer. Pioneer, P-I-O-N-E-E-R, pioneer. Correct. And, sir, if you'd spell vegetable. Vegetable. V-E-G-E-T-A-B-L-E. Correct. Thank you. And your word is pollutant. Pollutant. P-O-L-L-U-T-E-N-T. Pollutant. I'm sorry you stuck in wrong letter. P-O-L-L-U-T-A-N-T. All right, three of you left. Are you getting nervous? Yeah. All right, your word is economy. Economy. E C O N O M Y. Economy. That's it. Thank you. All right, your word is piloted. Uh, he piloted the airplane, so the pilot piloted the airplane. P-I-L-O-T-E-D, piloted. That's correct. Thank you. All right. Your word is glamorous. Glamorous. G-L-A-M. O-R-O-U-S. That's it. Thank you. All right. We got three spellers left. <laughs> now it's really getting tight, isn't it? Would you spell the word unwisely? Unwisely. U-N-W-I-S-E-L-Y. Unwisely. Correct. Thank you. Could you spell the word volleyball? Volleyball. V O L L E Y B A L L. Volleyball. That's it. Thank you. And your word is intersect. Intersect. I N T E R S E C T. Okay. Another round done. Would you spell tweezers? Tweezers. T W E E Z E R S. Tweezers. That's it. Thank you. All right. And your word is candidate. That's correct. Thank you. Would you spell caboose? K 
Caboose. C A B O O S E. That's it. Thank you. All right. Your word is slavery. Slavery. S L A V E R Y. Slavery. Correct. Would you spell the word maintenance? Maintenance. M A I N T I N E N T E. No, I'm sorry. M A I N T E N A N C E. And the last word in this round is fatally. Fatally. F A T A L L Y. That's it. All right. So we got two spellers left. If you both come up to the microphone. And as we said before, the rules change a little bit. I'll give each of you a word. If you spell it correctly, it a new word goes to the next person. If you spell it incorrectly, the other person will uh, attempt to spell it correctly, plus one more, and then we declare a winner. So, all right, your word is truly. Truly, T-R-U-L-Y, truly. That's it, thank you. Would you spell lizard? Lizard. L-I-Z-A-R-D. Okay. And the word is character. Character. C-H-A-R-A-C-T-E-R. -E character. Right. Your word is villain. Villain. V-I-L-L-A-I-N. Yep. Spell schedule. That's correct. Your word is league. League. L-E-A-G-U-E. -E, league. Okay. Spell sincerely. Sincerely. S-I-N-C-E-R-E-L-Y. Sincerely. Yep. Would you spell the word grieving? Grieving. G R. I-E-V-I-N-G. Yep, okay. You guys are going to slug it out, aren't you? All right. Your word is remainder. Remainder. R-E-M-A-I-N-D-E-R. Remainder? Yep, okay. And your word is immense. Immense. I-M-M-E-N-S-E. -E. All right. Now we go to the hard stuff. Oh, all right. Your word is usually. Usually. U S U A L L Y. Usually. That's it. Thank you. How about the word orchestra? Orchestra. O R C H E S T R A. Okay. Your word is scientist. Okay. Would you spell chocolate? Chocolate. C H O C O L A T E. Chemical. Chemical. C H E M I C A L. Chemical. All right. Numeral. Numeral. N U M E A R L. N U. All right. Now, yeah. you've misspelled it. So, you spell numeral correctly, please. N-U-M-E-R-A-L, numeral. All right, one more word. Would you spell the word projection? Projection, P-R-O-J-E-C-T-I-O-N, projection. And there we have a winner. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
give another round of applause to both of these guys. What a great job. Good job, guys. Very good. Okay. Um, Susan. Alex Lee and Griffin Bird. So Alex Lee is our runner-up, and Griffin Bird is our champ for the seventh grade. So... Um, Thank you again, and contestants, a good job. Good job, guys. I know it's nerve-wracking to get up there and spell in front of your friends and all these people, so very, very good job. Now I'm going to need all of you to come down here and get certificates and treats from your friends, if you guys will come down and get your awards as well. So, Isabella. And then you can pick something from the candy. You can get, like, you can get a caramel apple or... Nice job, Isabella.